Now, with, with just about a week to the governorship election, the State Inspector General of Police, IGP Kardec Betukna, said that the police will be deploying over 35,000 personnel and 8,000 sister security agencies for the governorship election slated for Saturday, September the 21st. The IGP disclosed this in Benin City, the other state capital, that in a stakeholders' meeting, I love the governorship election. In Israel, Mike Elliott, the chairman and Independent Electric Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, said that plans have been made to map up some of the uncollected permanent voter cards across the 18 local government areas of the other state. And as the PPCs, which are going to be mopped up by the commission, would be warehoused in the Central Bank of Nigeria until after the governorship election. Professor Yakubu said Edo State now has a total of 2,629,025 registered voters, adding that in their commitment to transparency, the Commission has made available soft copies of the entire register of voters to each political party fielding candidate in the forthcoming election. In our commitment to transparency, the Commission has made available soft copies of the entire register of voters to each political party fielding candidates in the forthcoming election. As you are aware, election is a multi-stakeholder activity. INEC has a role to play, but this must be complemented by stakeholders. The 2024 Edo State Governorship election is not just a national election. It is also of global interest. The Commission has so far accredited 134 observer groups, 124 domestic and 10 international, and together they are deploying 1,836 observers across the state. Similarly, we have accredited 114 media organizations deploying 721 journalists. We have also accredited thousands of agents representing candidates and political parties at the 4,730 polling and collection locations, made up of the 4,519 polling units, 192 war collection centers, the 18 local government collection centers, and the state collection center in our state office here in Benin. We understand the vital importance of our roles in this election and I want to assure you that we are well prepared to perform our duties with excellence. We are committed to deploying sufficient personnel and resources to ensure effective crowd management, prevent electoral violence and address any emerging security issues. In this election, the police will be deploying 35,000 personnel and this will be complemented by over 8,000 members of the armed forces and other security agencies. In preparation for the election, the Nigeria Police Force, in collaboration with these other security agencies, has undertaken several measures, including conducting a thorough threat analysis of vulnerable points in the state to deploy resources effectively. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.